Hi and welcome to Mr. Chong's classroom. So today I'm going to show on the tools that I'm using to change this ordinary whiteboard into a digital screen. So basically you need to prepare three equipment starting from the tablet. So the tablet I'm using is from Samsung and the model is Samsung Tab S6 Lite. It cost me around 1004 and I bought it from Shopee Malaysia. So later on I will share some link in the description. And also the next two will be the tools that I use to mirror cast my tablet with the projector. So the brand that I'm using is Screenbeam Mini 2. It cost me around 220 and I also bought it from Shopee. So later on I will show some example in the description as well. And last but not least will be the projector. So the brand of the projector is Epson and the model is EBS31 uh, which is quite an old model because I bought it in the year 2018. So next I will show on how do I set up everything in the classroom. So next I will explain on the connection on the projector. First of all, we need to plug in our Screenbeam Mini 2. The Screenbeam Mini 2 comes with two extensions. One extension is the USB which is for the power supply. So we just stick in here, USB-A. And another one is the HDMI extension. The reason why we use the HDMI extension is because of this beam that prevents this screen beam from plugging in if we just plug in directly. So we need to use this extension in order to fully plug in. So lastly, we plug in the power supply of the projector. Then we just on the power. And wait for a few seconds. So after a while, you will see this kind of display on the screen. Then you move to your tablet. Top and scroll down. And later on, you look for this icon called a Smart View. And you will see some device is detected. BD. It stands for the Screen Bin Mini. Lah. So you just click on that and click on Start Now. So you will see on the screen connecting you now then later on magic is about to happen so when the connection is successful you actually can show whatever you want from your tablet and you will display through the projector to the screen so i hope this video clarify on the tools and also the connections i'm using to set up the digital classroom so that's all for today thank you very much for watching and bye bye